Welcome back, everybody. This is video two in um, the DuPont method um, case. And so what we're going to do in the second video, because we've loaded the data in the last video, is we are going to look at, we need to find out what are the combined total assets of all companies for all years. So I'm going to copy that data, use it over here in Tableau. Um, so um, this is where we left off in the last one. So here you are right here, sheet one. This is our data. We, are, we need to create a new worksheet. And so I'm going to name this, um, we're in part two, question one. Okay, that's what's going here. And I would like to have some sort of caption that tells me what this is. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to worksheet, show caption right here. I'm going to edit that caption, and then I'm going to paste uh, the question that I just copied from our assignment here. So it will tell me what are the combined total assets of all companies for all years right here on that sheet. This is what I'm doing. So we know that total assets are on the balance sheet. So um, let's close that down. So we look here on our balance sheet data. Here are all the things that we have. We have total assets right here. So we are going to just drag this over. And this tells us that total assets of all companies for all years is, um, I don't know, that may be trillion. So that's the sum of all of that. If we wanted to, we could do the average for all years. We could do the median. The median is good if you have outliers, which we do because we've got Walmart in here with a bunch of um, other people. So, what, But we want to just leave this there. The question asks us to sum. So <clears throat> this is the answer to question one. Um, so this is the end of part two, and go Tigers.